Well, studios and theater owners are clashing yet again over 3D movies. This time, Clash of the Titans and How to Train Your Dragon are vying for the 3D screen, and theater owners are caught in the middle. It is all about supply and demand. Right now, there is a shortage of real estate on 3D screens, and uh, Callie Carlin has got more on this. Callie. Well, Betty, in this latest case, theater owners say that Paramount, Mount, the distributor of How to Train Your Dragon, is refusing to deliver the 2D version if they don't also offer the movie on the 3D screen, which, of course, the studio wants to capitalize on because of the hit to higher ticket prices. I think this is really you know, a bit of a short-term, you know, tempest in a teapot, you know, in terms of optimizing the results for those two movies. It's certainly important, but I think you know, strategically, as far as the configuration of the business goes, uh, you know, this is a, a restraint that is going to disappear over time as you add more screen capacity. But right now, it's nasty. I Part of the problem is that Warner Brothers decided to convert Titans from 2D to 3D and open just one week after Paramount's 3D opening. Analysts don't think, though, that these situations will continue. Certainly, this is a bottleneck that's going to loosen up you know, considerably. But I mean, these screens are very much in demand. When you look at the 2009 box office, about uh, 9 or 10 percent of the box office was generated from 3D movies. So it really tells you uh, how disproportionately you know, those, uh, those 3,500 screens at the end of the year were carrying their weight. With increasing demand for 3D and the huge revenue generated by films like Avatar and Alice in Wonderland, you can certainly expect it will be a hot topic at the Show West Convention in Las Vegas next week, Betty. Okay, Callie, thank you.